mole, 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 mole. We're here at Gila Getza in Los Angeles. It is a non-stop fiesta of alcohol and food, and both happen to be done very well. It's Oaxacan food, so they specialize in mole. They have a lot of interesting spins on Mexican dishes that you may have not had before. Mole is a blend of a zillion spices, seeds, sauces, chocolate, herbs, vegetables, and you have this very complex flavor that you can only achieve from using 20, 30 ingredients and cooking it down for hours and hours. But this is just like, uh, it's, it's kind of like doing mushrooms for the first time with Mexican food. You like, you see the other side. You're like, oh, this is what is going on in your mouth. Pull the James Beard out of your pocket right now? <laughs> Dang! I feel like a, like a little kid on Christmas. No. What, what did you guys win the award for? American Classic. American Classic. So this is an American Classic. Okay, so I guess explain what Gela Getza means. So Gela Getza is a Zapotec word and the meaning itself is uh, reprosity, like to share. We named it Galagetza because it was our way to give our culture to LA, so it's our Galagetza, our food is our Galagetza to Los Angeles. I think Oaxacan food out of all the other Mexican foods is definitely the most exciting to somebody who's an adventurous eater. And I would really, I would say it's it's very smoky. I mean, everything from like the, the mole to the mezcal to the, you know, even like the chapulines, the grasshoppers or barbacoa, um, all of our chiles are tend to be smoked. So it's, you know, they all kind of have that sort of flavor in it. It's a little sexy, a little mysterious. Yes, very much so. Will you be so kind as to let us go into the kitchen and of see course. some foods going on? I, I want to wear the metal, but I'm not going to. Just, so this is what we're going to make. So see, this is the tlayuda. Is it, what is it made out of? Flour? Corn. corn? Okay, corn. I just want to... So this is where we have our pork rind paste. So it just looks like peanut butter made out of pork skin. You're going to slide it all over it. You're going to make sure it's all in there, all nice. Do you want to put some of this? Do you want to put the beans? Sure. Okay. We'll smear it around. Yeah. That's good. That's good? Yeah. And then we're gonna do um, a little bit of the cabbage, our two cheese, cheeses. So we're gonna do the fresco first. Okay. And then we have the Oaxaca string cheese. Just like hair. It's beautiful, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> um, and we let it there and it's gonna get crispy and nice. We'll move it around here and there. All right. So what kind of salsa is this? It's just like a tomatillo and chile de arbol salsa. Salud. Okay, yeah. Clayuda, saluda. Mm -hmm. It was good. This tortilla crunchy thing is so... I've never had it like this. It's so good. This is like if the Taco Bell Mexican pizza was like really, really, really good. <laughs> we have some selection. Yes. So I brought menu. you some of the favorite things that I... Some of my favorite things here on the menu. So I want to start with this one, the taco, the tacos de barbacoa. Yes, uh, we have the barbacoa, which is um, you know goat, um, and you kind of eat it like a French dip, but you can dip it in the stew. Mmm, goat is so good, but nobody, you know, a lot of people are scared of it. But so, to me, it's just a natural thing because I've been eating it since I was a little girl, so mm -hmm. it's just normal. So what makes this horchata different from another horchata? So this one is, you know, made out of rice, like a regular horchata. Mm -hmm. uh, but we have the pink stuff right here. It's a prickly pear. I've never seen it like this anywhere else. Yeah. But, in, but in Oaxaca, this, was, this is normal. Mm -hmm. Normal. So chili relleno is a stuffed chili. Yes, it's got raisins and it has, mm. you know, tomato and onions and mm. it's just delicious. Mm. 
It was bomb. It is. And of course, uh, you have the moles. The grand finale. Okay, so explain each of these moles, please. Yes, yeah, so we have the estofado, the coloradito, the red, and the black mole. What makes them so different is the chiles that we put inside. Yes. You can, there isn't like a, I can't tell you this is the way we eat mm -hmm. Oaxacan food or mole. You know, it's... Mm. So good. Uh, well, thank you so much. You're welcome. I hope I you come back. I will be back. Thank <laughs> you.